Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with uh, the next in a series of videos that we're doing on the Buffalo Nickel. Uh, this is something that we're hoping is as special as we think it is. Uh, this is a very old Bank of America, San Francisco nickel roll um, from an address that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it was an old, old address. Um, we can't really tell for sure what's in there because there's enders with just the buffalo. But we have a pretty good idea that being from San Francisco and the key dates are uh, S mint marks from San Francisco. Um, there are several other uh, key coins to look for. So we wanted to um, go ahead and get this roll. We don't usually do it unless we think they're special. But we're going to go through this. We're going to lay them out by dates, see if see what we find in here, and uh, hopefully we find something interesting. There will be another video after this, by the way, um, where we go into some more detail. And I'm trying to be very careful how I open this so I don't damage the coin. And I know somebody at one point commented that I should use a toothpick, but uh, it's kind of hard to do this with a toothpick because they usually would break. Um, but whatever works, you know. Um, I don't think they're going to just dump out. I think I'm going to have to destroy the roll, which I really kind of hate. This thing's actually glued. <laughs> have to tear this open I guess um, this roll is really tight and I opened it the end here and I, I can't get the coins to move at all so I, I guess I got no choice this is glued along the side um, I guess I have no choice but to try yeah I'm just gonna destroy it it's so old it's just the paper is hard, <laughs> which leads me to believe even more that this is a very old roll. Um, God, these things are in here tight. So that one looks to be in pretty nice shape. I don't see a mint mark on it. 36, Philadelphia. So what we're going to do is lay these out by date if we can... If we can do that, this one, no mint mark, 30, no mint mark, uh, date's not real visible, no mint mark, 27, Oh, there's a mint mark there, but I can't make it out. Hang on. Looks like a D. 29. Wow, that one's really nice looking. Really nice. No mint mark. 1937. There's detail on his hair, there's detail on the feather. That's a really nice one. I didn't notice if it was a three-legger or not, but I think that's the D36. Another one. Another 37. And tear it that way. No mint mark. Another 36. No mint mark. 23. Another nice one. 
nice looking back. No mint mark. Number 36. Put him up on the top there. No mint mark. Another 37. God, there's like four layers. Really nice 35. Wow. There's a date on that thing. That thing really stands out. No mint mark. Ah, now they're coming out, okay. No mint mark. 27. Sorry I'm taking so long, guys. Very nice back. No mint mark. Number 36. Twenty six. No mint mark. No mint mark. Thirty five. Thirty six. No mint mark. Another thirty six. No mint mark. Another 36, no mint mark. There's another 37 and really crisp date on there. No mint mark. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Got a bunch of them out. No mint mark. 29. It's interesting. I mean, we got this because of the 27 no mint mark. We got this because with the San Francisco, as we said, we thought we would possibly see, you know, a higher percentage of, of San Francisco's, but so far not the case. 29. Nineteen fifteen. I couldn't see the date. <laughs> the series started in thirteen, so that's a very early one. Uh, Thirty-five. No mint mark. Again, no mint mark. Twenty-eight. There's a D, 36, so put him above the regular 36s, I guess. That is a mint mark that I can't read. Our first S. Thirty-six, I think. Yeah, thirty-six S. No mint mark. Well, twenty something. I can't really read it. Twenty-eight. No mint mark. Getting close to the end, guys. Another tiny mint mark. I 
think that's an S, but I'm not sure. 29 S. Can't really tell if it's a D or an S, but I'm, I'm looking right now and it looks so far like an S. That's a 28. Nice back. 36. Really nice, strong 1936 strike on the front. Nice back. 24. No S. I believe that's one of our key dates. If it was an S. Yeah, 24S would be a key date. Let's see, 36. Wow, another, oh, look at his hair. Oh my gosh, this thing's really nice. The back too, I mean, this thing's in gorgeous shape. There's no mint mark, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. This is, this is probably the nicest coin out of the roll. Um, put that up there with the other ones. We have another tiny mint mark that's almost obliterated. It looks like it could be an S. 28. Put that up there. Last one in the roll. No mint mark. 28 so so there's what we got okay so we're gonna go through these uh, take a look at them under the microscope uh, a little better magnification see compare it to our list and see if we have anything uh, um, you know that's a key date three-legger anything of that type uh, as we said this is part of the series of videos we're going to do on these because there's just so much material to cover. Um, so we'll see you at the wrap. Hey gang, this is the, uh, the wrap. Um, we did pretty well on this. Um, not any of these had dates that we couldn't see, which usually on buffaloes, the dates are the first thing to go. And uh, you, find, you normally will find when you're hunt hunting buffaloes, lots of nickels with no date that you can find any way at all. This is the oldest one we found and it was the hardest date to read. We used the microscope actually to see it. This is a 1915. Uh, followed next to that is a 1917, then a 1920, then we jumped to a 23. The reason we jumped to a 23, um, obviously we're just covering what's in this roll. We do have a 21 in our collection, but there were none minted in 22. Uh, we can't, we're still researching that. Um, we can't find any reference to them in the coin books. Um, and, and so it's kind of a mystery. They just, they just don't exist, um, in any of the reference guides, the 22s, but the 32 and 33 also th that year, those years were not minted at all. The 31 S that we have is the last coin that was minted before the Great Depression uh, caused them to stop minting nickels. So they didn't mint nickels in 32 and 33. They still minted pennies, but they didn't mint nickels, okay? Um, back during the Depression, the, the guys that were begging for food and stuff would say, hey brother, can you, can you spare a dime? A dime was a lot of money back then. It could get you a, a really good meal. So um, it's, it's not unusual that that they actually uh, stopped production for 32 and 33 and then went back to production in 34. We can go on through here, um, but um, we found a 1928 uh, S. We found a 1929 D, a 1930 Philadelphia, 35 D, a bunch of 36s. This one's not not too bad a shape. Uh, they decline in condition as you go down. 
this is a 36D, this is a 37S, but unfortunately it's not uh, a three-legged. Um, and then we come down here and we have a 29 that um, is exhibiting doubling on the date, a 35 that's in really ni pretty nice shape that is also exhibiting doubling on the date, 36, which is just a beautiful coin. Uh, the, the, these last three coins are really nice shape. Uh, 36 with very strong mint mark and the, uh, or excuse me, very strong year uh, and, the, and the date itself uh, has exhibit, exhibit bleh, sorry, exhibits doubling. Uh, we had to put these under the microscope to, to be really clear to see what we were looking at. The, the coin is really strongly struck, but in order to see the doubling, we did have to get magnification to be able to see it. Um, and then 37, uh, same thing, we looked under it, even though it's a very crisp coin, uh, and the level of detail of the feathers and his hair uh, really stand out. Um, flip it over here, the buffalo itself on the backside, that's just a gorgeous coin. Uh, let me see, the 36, by comparison, is still a beautiful coin. Um, but that 37, by far, is just is just absolutely a knockout. They, they really both are. Um, let's see what the 35 looks like, just for the heck of it. Yeah, so not quite as nice, but still a very nice coin. So, you know, we did okay. Uh, we didn't find any key dates. We did find these, which, uh, you know, better than a sharp stick in the eye. And we still have just scratched the surface. I did, I'm not gonna go date by date through here. Um, um, we will shoot more Buffalo Nickel. There's gonna be at least one, maybe two more videos to go into really deep depth on these. So we're gonna, we wanna try and cover everything on this that we can, okay? So, uh, you know, using the microscope and the magnification is key. A lot of these have no dates. We have this entire roll. There was not one that didn't have a date. The 1915 was the hardest to see, but we were able to see it. Um, so please continue to like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, um, you know, um, Look below for the links for this, the scope and, and the website and various other things. And uh, until next time, JB Coins signing out.